The goal is not to stop it completely. A little self-criticism can be a good thing, give you a reality check that motivates you to be a better person. But there is a big difference between I need to read more and saying things like, I am not that smart. I am not good enough. I have a horrible memory. So studies show that negative self-talk is associated with everything from higher levels of stress to depression. So what do you do with your negative self-talk? First, here's two things you do not want to do. You don't fight them and you don't fight for them. What do I mean about don't fight them? What I mean by that is don't try to resist doing these things because as you know, what you resist persists. If I ask you not to think of a big purple giraffe, don't think of a big purple giraffe, don't think of a big purple giraffe, what do you do? You see that big purple giraffe in front of you, right? So don't resist it, don't fight them. And the other thing is, don't fight for them. Don't fight for them. A lot of people, they're always fighting for their limitations. They're talking about how they can't remember things. They can't remember names. They're so overloaded. They can't keep up. And here's the thing. If you fight for your limitations, you get to keep them. If you argue for your limits, you get to keep them. So how do you stop beating yourself up and replace this negative self-talk? You could do so using the magical words abracadabra. Abracadabra. You know, the word abracadabra is derived from an aromatic phrase that means, I create as I speak. In the Hebrew language, this phrase translates into, it came to pass as it was spoken. You know, words indeed have power. As a memory aid, I want you to remember the first four letters, abra, A-B-R-A. The A stands for acknowledge. Acknowledge that it's there, don't resist it. Remember, what you resist persists. The B in Abra stands for breathe. Breathe, take a breath now. (sighs) Controlled breathing not only keeps your mind and your body functioning at their best, it can also lower your blood pressure, promote feelings of calm and relaxation, and help us to be able to de-stress. Breathe in what you want and then The third step is, the R is release. Release what you do not want. You can't lead a positive life with a negative mind. So you want to, as you exhale, exhale that breath out and let go of the limitations. Let go of the hurt. Let go of the helplessness. And finally, the last A is align. Align. Use your imagination and create a new phrase or a new belief that is more aligned with really who you are and what you really want. It might be something like, I have a great memory. I learn things quickly and easily. My focus is my gift. I really do have a quick brain. The magic trick is to go beyond just saying it. You really want to experience it. You want to go in and see it, step into this new belief and see how it really feels. So again, when you want to replace the negative self-talk that holds you back, remember Abra. Acknowledge, breathe, release, and align to what you really want. Do this and you will unleash the magic of your quick brain.